Hello everybody, welcome to Opt. So, in this video, I'll explain why Taming.io is an experiment to observe how tamers interact with simulated hostile life from another planet in order for the owners of that simulation to inhabit and colonize their newfound hostile world, and why tamers are the only real thing in this game. So, after hearing all that, you probably have a lot of questions, such as, who were the owners of the experiment? Why are tamers used? Like, what are tamers? And how it is all an experiment? Slash the new world. Well, to answer those first, we're gonna have to talk about Lopamov. Okay, so you probably know who Lopamov is, right? The game developer, right? But you know, there are actually two people, and they are both called Lopas. Well, what is the Mav part about? What does a username actually mean? Well, to break it down, Lapa means this rodent named Lowland Paka, which is also known as Lapa the Mountain. Now, that rodent looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Well, move, moving on. The Mav part of the name is simply the color purple. Well, it's a shade of purple, a particular shade. The particular shade that their mascot is. Which also means that their mascot is a Lapa colored mob named Mob. Not to be confused with Lapas, which are the mushroom people, like the purple and teal ones. You know, that's cool and all, but it's not very relevant, right? No. Now, the Mob is actually controlling the Lapas to their whim, making them Tamer's true creator, if you want to put it that way. Well, when you open Taming.io and you click spawn, you spawn in a thin air. You're given things out of thin air when you age up. You destroy things into thin air. And pets appear out of thin air. Etc. 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 You get the point, right? Obviously, this is not something that would happen outside of a computer simulation. Well, everything is clearly streamlined so they can observe as many useful interactions as possible in the shortest amount of time. They being the um, Lapas controlled by Mav. So, now why would they do such a simulation? Well, my theory is that Mav found a world a lot like the war world of taming. However, they found it uninhabitable due to the amount of hostile wildlife, like, uh, you know, the bears, the wolves, and such. Though, instead of passing down dreams of colonizing such a beautiful landscape, they had the Lapas that were under their control make a virtual world a lot like that world, and an AI to inhabit that develops ways on how to pacify the wildlife so they can learn their secrets and their power. Right? The, the, the powers of the creatures that are in the world of taming. This is done so that the Lapas may look at the, ta the AI and may be able to actually pacify and control the animals and slash pets in the real Taming.io world. This means that you play as an AI test, su the AI's test subject, where basically you are the AI that is controlling the Tamers that are controlling livelihood of Mav and Lapa, you know. But hey, that's just a theory. A taming theory. Thanks for watching. Also, uh, please like and subscribe. Have a good day, or evening, I suppose.